Quick question. Do you know you want to get rid of clothes, but every time you try to, it's really hard? So do you find yourself looking at your closet full of clothes all the time and still feeling like there's nothing to wear? You're not alone. This is a common style sabotager. I face myself and I hear from clients all the time. In this video, I'm going to show you how to overcome it. Hello and welcome to Style Coach Light. Personal stylist Rebecca Jacobs here, and in this series I get to talk to you and coach you through some of the most common style struggles that are all happening up here. Now back to those clothes you're not wearing and not getting rid of. Maybe it's because you think they'll come back in style and then you'll wear them. Or that you'll lose weight or gain weight and they'll fit and then you'll wear them. Or maybe you don't even know why you're not wearing them right now so you think you'll just start wearing them any day now. These excuses are not the real reason. And I think deep down you know that. The real reason we hold on to clothes we're not wearing and we don't love has to do with waste. In particular, our money being wasted. We do not like this. We do not like feeling like we wasted our money on clothes that we didn't even wear when we get rid of them. In fact, we avoid it at all costs. That's why we keep our closet full of stuff we know we're not wearing and we're never gonna magically love again. Just to avoid that feeling of, I wasted so much money on this and I never wore it. And a part of us also feels like, if we wasted less money on clothes, it'll add up to more money in the future. This is flawed logic, completely untrue. The same amount of money was gone when we handed over our credit card, no matter whether we wore the item or not. And it has nothing to do with how much money we have in the future. The value from clothes is this. They make us look and feel our most radiant self. If it's no longer or never has been doing that, it has zero value for you. Zero. If it doesn't make you feel your most radiant self, it has no value. Yet we hold onto these clothes with no value anyway. If we've worn them, we've already sucked up all the value there was to give. If we didn't wear them, we bought something that didn't have any value to begin with. So keeping all these clothes that don't make us feel like our most radiant self is like keeping empty orange juice containers after we've drank all the juice. These clothes, just like the orange containers, had value which no longer exists. We've already sucked up all the possible value from them, so we just keep them empty, valueless. Just like keeping all these empty orange juice containers in our fridge right alongside the full one. Now, every day when we go to try to find our orange juice to drink, we're just cluttering our vision, adding extra stress and time trying to find it amongst all the empty, valueless orange juice containers. Yeah, you might find some like random Pinteresty use for one of the orange juice containers, but like you're not going to use all the empty orange juice containers. Can you see how the orange juice containers are a lot like our closet? When we keep it full of all this empty, valueless items, all it does is keep us from getting to the full orange juice, getting to the clothes that have value for us because they make us feel and look like our most radiant self. But here's where the empty orange juice container metaphor breaks. Our clothes we are not wearing could have a ton of value in them for somebody else. Holding onto these clothes we're not wearing not only are they not giving us any value, we're taking away from someone else who could be getting value from them. So today I want us all to reframe how we think about clothes and the money we've spent on them. Instead of looking at it piece by piece, if value per wear equation, let's look at all the money we've ever spent on clothes as the cost of the wardrobe we have right now. The wardrobe and the personal style we have right now. because. Through every piece we buy and wear and don't wear, we learn and find our own style. And sometimes you have to pay to find out what you don't want to wear. This is a great news that our money was never wasted because it was all going towards creating the wardrobe and personal style we have today. And our personal style is only going to get better. And if you're still not convinced, I have one more little nugget for you. 
one more way you can suck up all the little ounces of value left in the pieces before you get rid of them. And that is to specifically learn from each piece. Before you get rid of it, try it on or take a look at it and find out why it's not working for you. What about it can you use to prevent future buying decisions that would have been wrong? Is it the fit, the color, the fabric, the style? What about it can you learn doesn't work for you? Because this is what style is all about. Learning you and your tastes and how we're going to take what's inside and show it outside. That is what I have for you today. I hope you find value in it. And if you're ready and convinced to start cleaning out your closet, I have a little quick start guide to editing your wardrobe, which you can download over here. And I'll put the link in the description box below as well. If you like this video and want more Style Coach Light, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know. And if you haven't yet, I would love for you to subscribe because there's lots more style tips, style coaching coming your way. And if you would like to say hi, I'm over on Instagram at Rebecca.Jacobs. Stay stylish. Oh.